So, I wanted to make a quick video and I wanted to make a quick brief TLDR explanation and breakdown of my opinion on super armors, forward blocks, iframes, and a quick introductory into CCs. I know we have a, a lot of new players that are coming into this game with a lot of questions and I've been there before and I know that there's some information out there that we could break down and make it a little bit easier. So that's what I want to try to do in this video. So let's waste no time. So I want to do my best to define uh, what I feel like a super armor and a forward block is. When you go into the skill tree, um, either on Xbox or PC, you're going to notice that some moves that you have, you'll notice that are highlighted in red here. Uh, label either super armor or other moves you may notice highlighted in red here label forward guard the breakdown of what i want to explain is that i feel that these skills are protective skills that help with survivability in a fight um, so in the game you have ccs and ccs are basically stuns and stunning someone to keep them immobilized so they can't move much like you would see here to avoid um, anything like that happening against yourself, you can use uh, forward blocks and super armors to help protect yourself, um, as well as nullify nullifying, nullifying, and reducing the amount of damage you also receive from an opponent with forward blocks and super armors. So what I mean by that is a forward block, you can treat it pretty much like a guard if it lands uh, correctly. You can avoid a CC, you can avoid uh, damage from players, and uh, the great thing about a super armor is a super armor can help reduce the amount of damage that you take and it can help protect you against um, a CC, so a stun. There we go. So there's, so there's an example of just getting a CC, right? Not being able to move around. If someone else can hit me here, please. So another example of just not being able to do anything. Okay, so let's see if we can coordinate um, being able to give an example of a super armor and protecting me both against damage and against a CC. Alright, so that move that he's done on me right there should have uh, immobilized me, kept me still, CC'd me, stunned me. CC crowd control. From a move that I've done with a super armor, it's reduced the amount of damage that I've taken, but I've also haven't been CC'd, so allowing me to continue the flow of combat. So let's try this again. I'm going to use another move that's a super armor here. So that right there is an example of a lingering super armor. This was something where I used a move, it had a super armor, and then after, the super armor managed to stay with me for a little bit, protecting me against a move that... Uh, could do a lot of damage to me as well as uh, CC me. So let's get another example of a super armor here from a different class. So again, you'll notice the move that we had from a knockdown earlier. This has just nullified this damage and again protected me. So in your skill tree, take the time to read the skills that your class offers and take the time to take notice of what offers forward guards and super armors to protect you. So I want to explain the forward guard and see, see if we can get an example of landing a protective forward guard and show you guys just how much damage you take uh, when applying it. So you'll notice the two moves that I did right there both apply forward guard and through these mass explosions and what would deal damage to me, you'll notice that I receive none. Um, so let's just uh, go ahead and get him to hit me and I want to show you how much damage I protect myself against. So you can see how big of a difference understanding your protective skills is going to assist you. So let's get a reset on this. And I want to show you you may uh, what a, a super armor rotation could potentially look at uh, look like. Sorry, words. Words are hard. So I'm going to get you to just keep swinging on me. And I'm going to do my best to just rotate some super armors here. And do the same moves if you can. Right? So look at, look at the amount of damage that's just being nullified right now. 
and it's that, that's almost in half so you can under, you can see here that understanding when to apply um forward guards to protect yourself because this is a timing thing um and then just understanding what super armors complements your class best may help you with the flow of protection it'll help you with uh potentially seeing openings for other classes and understanding other classes super armors and forward guards are also going to help you in winning um, against an opponent okay so another thing to take into consideration is understanding the rotation of super armors and how they protect you but understanding what can also counter these kinds of things um, one of those things with, uh, that is a great example is uh, a grab uh, grabs are almost an immediate counter for um, a super armor depending on just uh, I mean of course how how close you are um, let's see if we can get an example of that. I, since I'm a grab class here, as well as our ninja friend here, um, maybe we can get our ninja to try to grab me. Right there. Right there. So managing to use this move right here, which has a super armor in it, and being able to be grabbed out of it. Right there. Right there. So I want to do my best to break this down frame by frame because I know for some people this is a lot to understand. So the first thing I'm going to highlight is that this uh, move right here um, is the move that I'm waiting for on the super armor uh, grab catch that's coming up here in this example. And you'll notice the cooldown up here at the top right hand side. So as we move along frame by frame, you'll notice that as time goes by, I'm rotating through protective skills. My best to stay alive this move i'm using right now is also a super armor and then right about here's where he catches me so this move has gone off cooldown i'm preparing to use it this first move that i'm going into him with is an unprotected skill and then i go right into the cooldown use of this move which is a super armor and you can see right here he catches me on the grab so now at this point this move has been completely nullified, and he is able to apply um, damage onto me from my understanding uh, this, these moments forward. One thing that I've been told and uh, I got taught when trying to get better at my class and still trying to get better at my class is that a grab will always be the super armor. So keep that in mind as well um, when trying to figure out what your super armor rotation may be. In a later video, I'm going to be talking about just the difference between CCs and down smashes and floatings. But in this video, I just want to talk about protective skills because a common question that I get asked a lot is what's the difference between uh, super armors and forward guards. And uh, I will touch on iframes just very briefly. Iframes are really simple. If you don't know what an iframe is, an iframe is simply just a dodge. The ability to be invincible uh, through certain things. It's just a protective skill that you would receive no damage, but it's an, another type of uh, mechanic that you can use to almost go through certain things depending on classes and it helps also apply with movement but in most cases just an iframe if you're over, uh, just wondering what that is it's m in most cases to break it down I, I just call it a dodge I hope this was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like on this video and uh, if you want to add more onto this please feel free um, the comment section is open for this kind of conversation I know that a lot of you guys uh, are skilled and great at what you do so please i would love this to be uh just uh just the start of a conversation that we can have to help these uh players understand this better so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys uh in the next one thanks for watching if you want to get a closer connection to the community and myself feel free to check out any of the social media links in the description down below join my discord and know when i upload more videos when i go live on twitch and have a conversation with some of us and just in general you can follow my Twitter and get updated on anything that might be going on. You can also check out my Instagram to get a closer connection on what it looks like on the other side of my screen. If you have any questions that you want to ask me directly as well, consider checking out my Twitch channel where I'm live from Wednesday to Sunday. And I usually take Mondays and Tuesdays off to typically edit videos. But in the near future, sometimes I will edit on stream as well on these days. So if you want to come by, give some feedback or even hang out, feel free to come on by.